Being in the film industry is the dream job for so many people. However, breaking into the industry can be an extremely difficult task with little to no clear way of doing so. So today I thought I'd put together a list of five tips that I can give to beginner filmmakers as they begin their journey making it into the film industry. Tip number one is figuring out what you want. So many people enter the industry with the idea that they want to work on TV or they want to work on movies, but don't have like a clear goal of what exactly they want to do within that industry. I think it's very important before you break into the industry to take some time writing, recording, just editing a bunch of different pieces. It doesn't matter how good or bad it is, just that you can kind of see what it is that you like or you don't like about the process. Now, there are other areas within the industry, not just with the camera, um, writing and editing, but there's also things such as sound design and producing and um, even more niche things like being a steady cam operator or gaffing. Um, the point is, is hone in on a part of the film industry that you enjoy the most and sink as much time into that part as possible so that you're continuously growing that skill. Even if your work starting out is not great at all, which it won't be, um, I think it's incredibly important to just find which part that you want uh, to be familiar with and to be an expert in and hone in and sink as much time as possible in that area. Tip number two is get on other sets. Now, this might be a little bit of a no-brainer, but the best way to gain experience in the film industry is to, well, be on set. And this can be for short films, feature films, commercials, student projects. All of these will help you gain experience within the industry. Now, the problem is, is you usually have connections in order to get on these sets. And because you are just beginning, you probably have little to no connections in the industry. So how exactly do you get on set? Well, there are quite a few ways and we'll get to networking and connections later. But the biggest way for me personally starting out was going on different production websites. This can be Backstage, Staff Me Up, Mandy.com. Basically look at it like it's Indeed, but for filmmakers. Um, the problem is some of these have a little bit of a barrier of entry where you have to cough up some money, such as Staff Me Up and Mandy. And I think it's ridiculous that you have to pay sometimes for these websites in order to like find gigs. Um, but there are some free options such as Facebook groups. I think this is also an excellent way of starting out because most people when they start in the industry, um, you're going to be a PA or a personal assistant. Um, and a lot of these Facebook groups are more catered to the newbies. Um, and you'd be surprised on just how many people are willing to give a newbie a chance um, on some of these Facebook groups. And there's no experience needed. All you need is a driver's license and a car and to show up with a good attitude and you could get a gig on a film set just like that and this is very good because you are in the lowest position with like zero stakes on a set um, which allows you to get familiarized with the process of how things are being run um, and you meet a whole lot of really cool people which is leading us into tip number three and that is networking Film is an incredibly collaborative art form, and it's very true what people say that in this industry, it is about who you know. A lot of people oftentimes score more gigs because of who they know, and this could be um, because of a range of things. You were good at what you did, you communicated properly, or as simple as you were just a good person. And you might be wondering, well, how do I make connections in the film industry? And that's just simply talking to people. When you get on sets, make it your mission to make some friends and exchange contact information with one another. I think there's really no better place 
to make film connections than being on set. Um, but just a quick side note, don't be fake. Don't be like friendly to someone just for the sake of like making a connection. No, be friendly, be kind to people because this is just something that you love and you love the art form of film and you want to meet new people. Um, so yeah, don't, don't be fake. <laughs> It will just make the experience all that much better um, if you do just go in with the idea that you're going to make friends and the experience will just be better. And you, if you actually make friends and make connections with people and you're just a genuinely good person, they will recommend you with two other people and might bring you on other sets. So it's incredibly important to just be yourself when talking to new people. Some other ways that you can meet people in the industry is going to film workshops. This is something that I personally did. I went to a film workshop where we used a dolly um, with a really nice camera and learned all the ins and outs of how to use it. And through that, I was able to make a bunch of connections. and I made a lot of new friends from the other people who were attending. Um, another great way to make connections is just go to filmmaking events go to film premieres like short films and such and just meet people and talk to people um, i think you'd be surprised on just how open people would be to talking to you number four is probably one of the biggest ones for me and that is having passion again film is in our form and filmmakers will be able to sniff out people who are doing film because they actually love the art form versus people who are doing it just for a paycheck. If you don't have passion, then I recommend you go back to tip number one and really figure out what it is that you want because if you have passion, you're going to love this process and love what you do regardless if it's a good day or a bad day. Tip number five is one that I truly hold close to my heart. It's something that I remind myself all the time. Um, tip number five is remembering that everyone started somewhere. I'm someone who constantly compares himself to other people, especially people in the industry. And it can be very detrimental to um, what it is that I, I do. and. I love because I do love it. Um, so what helps me is just remembering that every great filmmaker started exactly where I was. Either struggling or people not believing in them and they just kind of had to push through it and they eventually made it. So I think it's incredibly important to always just remember that no matter at what point you are in the industry, whether you are a beginner or you're a mid-tier, or even if you're an expert and you're doubting yourself, um, I think it's just really healthy to remember that every filmmaker, every artist has gone through that no matter what stage in the industry you are in. So those are five tips that I would give to any beginner filmmaker who is just starting out in the industry. Um, just kind of like a bonus tip, there are like two qualities that I think every filmmaker um, should have. One is patience, and I say that because it's not going to happen fast. You know, you're not going to break in the industry, you know, right out of college and be working on feature films and stuff. So being able to have patience is incredibly important. And the second quality that I think every filmmaker should have is persevere. perseverance. Perseverance. Yeah. I think it's incredibly important to persevere no matter how many like cold calls you make or how many like emails you send down, you never get a response or how many jobs you apply to and you you never hear anything i think it's incredibly important to never give up and keep going at it but yeah i hope this video helps you guys out this is something that i am incredibly passionate about which is helping the newbies out um with my own personal experience and things that i've learned from other people so i really do hope this video helps you guys out um, thank you guys so much for tuning in and i will see you guys very soon. Peace, peace.